I grew up at Vavamalu. I was running around in diapers on that beach, and it's where I learned to surf, it's where I learned to dive, to fish. So the Kaibi Coast is, is somewhere that's very near and dear to my heart. And for me, I'm at a point in my life where it's sort of my duty now to pass that knowledge on and utilize my platform for reasons like this, to protect and preserve our coastlines. There's a lot of surfers and watermen out there. We enjoy the ocean every single day. I mean, it's our playground. It's, some people call it their first love, whatever they want to call it. And with that, I feel comes responsibility. Our responsibility and our kuleana is to give back to the ocean and to take care of the coastlines that we grew up on as Keiki. The idea came to life in the spring of 2022 and we launched our first World Oceans Day activation. When I thought of World Oceans Day, I felt that it was just one day and it should be like a whole month and actually it should be every day of the year. So I said, hey, let's create an event that is five days long and launch it to be a celebration of the entire month and inspire people to care for coastlines every single day of the year. And so we launched the World Oceans Day cleanup, which was five days long. We cleaned from all the way out at Allen Davis to Halona Bloho. And that was really the, the start of this project. And now fast forward, we've done three World Oceans Month kickoffs and uh, we're going on the fourth. This has been a journey and I think the most beautiful thing is seeing from the start to finish how beautiful the park has become. I think it's important for us and the whole reason why we're sitting here doing this film is we really want people to know our intentions. Our intentions for this are to take care of our community, to take care of something that's given us so much and to keep that beautiful for the future generations and our keiki that are coming. If people come out and actually see what we're doing and participate in it, the things that we have in place, I think it'll change their whole perspective on things. One of the most beautiful things of this project is the fact that we started it, but it's now the community that's finishing it. We don't have the capacity to be there every single day, but there are people that go every single day to go body surfing, and uh, they're there watering the plants, planting new plants, taking care of the existing plants, weed whacking the grass, and just pouring love into that area. And that, that for me is the biggest success, and I, I hope more people join hands with those individuals that are there on a daily basis. I don't think the park would be in the state it is now without their support. The biggest goal for me is to let these kids take ownership of this event. The kids that are growing up at Sandy's, the up and coming generations that are surfing, let, let them take accountability and own this and, and feel good about it. We've had people that have been hesitant about coming that have shown up and now I see them every year over there. Now it's become a part of them where they're, they're driving by the beach, they're driving by Baba Mall and they're like, I did that. I was a part of that. And to me, that's the gift that we can give with this. The main message is super simple and, and, and I know that we hear it a lot, but it's basically just do something. Don't just sit on your okole. Don't just point the fingers and be on your TikToks or Instagram complaining. Get out into your community and actually do something positive for it. We can't just rely on our government to take care of everything for us, but what we can do is empower our communities and our neighbors and our friends and even strangers in our own communities to come together to revitalize special places, these vahipana that have been neglected, that we don't even realize are, are beautiful gems, but if you just start, you know, sanding it down a little bit, picking up the trash and recognizing its beauty, it comes back to life. And it's totally obvious, you know, at, at the park at Vavamala, you see the native plants coming back to life. You see the native sea turtles coming back and actually laying eggs for the first time in 40 years. And you see people engaging with the land again. So you don't have to wait for permission. You don't have to wait for the government to take a step. You yourself can be that step that brings a park like the one that we are establishing at Baba Malu back to life in your own community. We all grew up here. This coastline is a part of our DNA. And for us, we're just getting started. We have so much work to do. We have so much good work to do. And that's what I'm excited about is this is really just the beginning. I 
saw you in my dream We were walking hand in hand On a white sandy beach of Hawaii We were playing in the sun We were having so much fun On a white sandy beach of Hawaii